Happy holidays everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my Cyber Monday specials that I recently came across on my local Craigslist. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. All right, so the first item on this list is the Acer VG270U 27-inch 1440p 75 hertz free sync with built-in speakers gaming monitor. Now this is a fantastic deal as I got this for only 40 US dollars. That's right, 40. Now originally it was listed for 50. I was able to negotiate and knock off 20%. And this proves that Craigslist is still the best place to find excellent deals on some used electronics. Now, how did this happen? Eh, sometimes people are just moving out of country or moving out of state, or you know what, they got something really nice and they just wanna pass it along to somebody just for a couple of dollars. They don't care, they don't wanna uh, make profit or get most of their money back. Clearly this person was not a scalper. And you know, sometimes you look around and you get lucky and you find a really good deal. So, on to the next deal and this is a really fantastic one and I'm gonna show you what it is so stay tuned for that alright so here is the gaming beast computer that I recently purchased on the local Craigslist for only 200 US dollars originally listed for 250 but I was able to negotiate it down to 200 now this computer was sold as is as the seller did clearly state that this computer no longer shows any display therefore it does not post but the good news is it does fully power on and everything seems like it's running so I suspect it could be a very easy fix either the RAM maybe the motherboard or one of the graphics cards went bad so I'm gonna take everything out look around clean everything up and see what I could do now let me go over these parts now, for today's standards, this computer may sound a bit old for everyone, but it still has a lot of power, and here is why. First, I'm going to start off with the case. This is a really nice case, which is Fantex Intu Primo White. Now, this thing is still a very expensive case, still today, and I think it really looks nice. They really don't make solid cases like this anymore. Now, let's take a closer look inside for the main prize. What we have here is two MSI GTX 980s running an SLI. Even if I could get one of them to work, I'll be really happy as these cards are still pretty powerful. They could still handle a lot of the, a lot of the newer modern games. Next, for the platform, we have the i7 4790K to go with a really nice motherboard which is the MSI Z97 Gaming 7 really good motherboard especially for overclocking along with two sticks of Corsair for a total of 16 gigs of um, DDR3 RAM 1600 megahertz speed um, pretty much standard what you would use uh, for these kind of builds about five six years ago for cooling we have a Corsair H100i definitely a good cooler um, especially for a system like this it does its job I'm very happy with that and also for the power supply and this is a really good one here which is the EVGA Supernova G2 1000 watt uh, I believe fully modular uh, gold rated power supply and that thing is worth a lot of money too as well uh, definitely enough for a system like this uh, Plus it has a bunch of extra fans, so I'm going to take a look. And of course the hard drives were taken out. I have plenty extras to throw in and see what happens. So pretty much all there is left to do is take this thing apart, clean it up, and see what happens. So without further ado, let me get to that and I'll see you soon. All right, so just as I expected, it was a RAM issue and I was able to get this computer running just in few minutes. So I took out both of the sticks, put in one at a time and got into BIOS. And finally I was able to see both the RAM sticks working, showing the 16 gigs of RAM, which it originally came with. 
and just like that I got this thing running now originally I was gonna go ahead and take this thing fully apart clean it up maybe change up the fans change up the look a little bit but I kept it this way and maybe for another video I like to do a nice build with using this case we'll see what happens uh, but other than that this thing performs really good and just the way it is a few things I've changed of course I added a hard drive uh, booted a fre uh, fresh uh, windows in there threw in a couple of games to give it a nice test uh, also I did keep the original thermal paste on the water cooler as the temperatures are good and I did overclock this to 4.5 gigahertz which is an easy overclock for i7 4790k out the box without messing with any voltage just increased uh, multiplied to 45 and that's it that's really guaranteed pretty much on any Z board along with this processor real easy also another thing that I did change here and I always wanted to use this part that I was laying around for many years you see this SLI bridge this MSI uh, which really matches with these two nice 980s here and once it's plugged in just as both the cards the LED is lit up and it looks real nice and then the other thing I did change the RAM sticks to a higher frequency these are 2133 megahertz uh, running in dual channel four sticks of four uh, really does help with the performance especially in, in gaming with a higher frequency I recommend anything any system that's second gen or higher Intel with a Z board you want to go with 2133 or higher perhaps to 2400 megahertz if you could get your hands on them um, the higher the frequency on the RAM, uh, the higher FPS you're going to get. And when you put all this together with a good power supply, you're really going to get a lot of juice out of the older systems. And you've seen that a lot in some of my previous videos. So do consider subscribing if you're new and check out. I have tons of videos, hundreds, hundreds. And I'm sure you know that I'm a big fan of SLI and I was able to get really good performance. So now I'm just going to show you... Uh, one game here in SLI which is Battlefield 5 and yes there it is there's the monitor the Acer gaming monitor that I was able to get for only 40 bucks 1440p and up to 75 Hertz performing real well it looks great and this is it this is my Cyber Monday special on Craigslist so let's jump in into a game really quick and see what's happening Take a look here, 1440p, 75 megahertz. Let me just get a closer look, get as close as possible for you guys. All right, that should do it. And on ultra, so everything maxed out here. Maxed out on the monitor settings and on the graphic settings and we're getting here around 100 FPS on average on 1440p which if you guys know when it comes to this game this is pretty pretty good results we're talking about you know 10th gen generation graphics cards or higher to get this FPS on 1440p. Beautiful smooth performance. Let me know what you guys think about this bargain that I found on Craigslist. Here in the States, if you live in an area close to Micro Center, uh, a lot of folks sometimes just want to unload their older stuff and jump into something new a system like this is now six to seven years old and at a time when it first came out back in what 2014 2015 something like this will run you a couple of thousand easily and now to scoop it up for 200 and another 40 for this monitor which this monitor was a surprise that was a separate bargain all together and just luckily came in pretty much within a day 
and I figured I'd feature both of these together and show you this great deal that I got. So that's it guys. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.